Welcome to the AI Blockchain Summit in Malta. I'm Jane King, and I've got with me the CEO of Americas of A Eternity, Pablo Coirolo. Hello, great thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, it's great um, to be here. So tell me about A Eternity. Well, A Eternity is a smart uh, contract platform. Um, what we do is the scalability of the blockchain, which has been a big issue. Okay. So what we're doing is we have different elements that permit the scalability. So we basically spent two years working on the technology. We decided to use Erlang, which is a language created by Ericsson, which is actually on most of the switches that are on the internet. Okay. So I come from the telecommunications industry. Mm -hmm. I was CEO of Telefonica for Uruguay. And one of the things that we have in telecommunications is communications go through, they don't break, messages pass. So that permitted that our blockchain was very sturdy in terms of having multiple processes. So the first stage was just creating the technology and it took us two years to create it. And what we're doing now is we're implementing the technology to solve real world problems. Okay, well that's what I was gonna ask. So let's bring it home. Like, how will the scalability of blockchain improve society, help businesses, help individuals? Well, uh, I'll give you just a couple of examples okay. of what we're doing. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, we, Ur Uruguay was the first country to liberalize cannabis. Okay. And we wanted to focus on that vertical because now it's being used for medicinal purposes. Mm -hmm. So pharmaceutical companies that need to create a drug need a certain formulation. So each time you take that drug, it's always the same effect. Since cannabis, very similar to the blockchain, came from the wild, uh, wild west mm -hmm. to regulation, the production of cannabis is not consistent. Okay. So we use blockchain to do the traceability from the seed to the product. And in that traceability, it permits us to understand when we find a formula, let's say 60% THC, 40% uh, CBD, that it's very good for a certain type of cancer. We can then reproduce that type of production and there's consistency between batches. Okay, it's, it helps improve quality control. Quality control, also know uh, to understand clinical trials and do trials in terms of production. So it, it, it gives you the traceability. And as I also, uh, what I was telling uh, last week in, in the part of the cannabis industry, it's your compliance because you can demostrate in yeah. an independent form That's right. that, Here's, that this works. Right. This is what we have. Yeah, okay. And I was just now explaining about where also another vertical is liquid democracy. So we also work in Uruguay with a political party that wanted to implement liquid democracy. That means that their representative would vote based on what the population had voted on, on each issue. And for example, I was giving the example of Brexit. If breakfast, bre uh, Brexit would have had a liquid democracy vote, probably the vote that they took two years ago would not be the same today. Wow, isn't that interesting? And with liquid democracy and blockchain, it would permit the government to really know what the people are thinking today. Because one thing is when you take a decision before knowing what's going to happen. And then another thing is going through this whole process that took them to new elections, to everything. If today the government would ask, I don't know what the results would be. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that's interesting. So I'm hearing that it kind of, there's transparency, um, there's uh, efficiency uh, with this, and um, kind of a fluidity, too, where you can, like, kind of gauge where things are at the moment. Exactly. That helps with the... I, I think if you see what's going on in the world with all these protests, Hong Kong, yeah, Barcelona, Chile, Chile yeah, yeah. you're starting to see that people are starting to rebel. Mm -hmm. And different governments different political parties, left, right, mm -hmm. uh, you know, non-democratic, non, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it, it, what's happening is people are asking for a voice. Mm -hmm. And I think this is part of the evolution of the internet. 
And if we look, the internet in the beginning was communication. Yeah. Then came social media, and now we started interacting with people. Then came blockchain, which is the internet of value. And I think now, with this internet of value, value does not only mean money. Value also means opinion and voice. Mm -hmm. And the blockchain is enabling this voice to be able to come out. Okay. Well, this is going to be an interesting few years ahead of us. Yes, sure. it, it's really a, a great time to be in this space. Mm -hmm. And I think it really is a transformative technology, mm -hmm. the same way the internet transformed totally our lives. Okay. Thank you so much, Pablo, for coming. It's been a Stopping pleasure. By. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you as well.